This is Malig, a tiny but very important fishing port in the northwest coast of Scotland. All the boats you see here are fitted with an echo sounder, almost invariably an echo sounder from Kelvin Hughes. Many of them have Kelvin Hughes radar too. Each working day the boats leave to fish the grounds off the Western Isles. And today we are going with them to see the MS-39 echo sounder in action. The MS-39 is specially designed as an aid to fishing. It consists of only two units. The transducer, which is mounted on the hull, and this compact, robustly built recorder. For easy operation, there are only four main controls, and these are located where they are best protected from spray. The gain control is stepped, so that the best settings can be easily repeated. A feature of this set is continuous phasing with a direct reading scale. This enables the skipper to select and scan any 30 fathom depth layer between the surface and the bottom. These boats fish in twos and threes, and tonight they're out after herring. Each boat is equipped with an echo sounder, so whoever passes over a shoal first will call up his partner. Since leaving port, the echo sounder has been switched on. The MS-39 is fully transistorized and starts giving soundings at once, and we can now see the clear outline of the seabed. After about another hour's steaming from this point, we reached the fishing grounds. And by this time, it was completely dark. Here are a couple of shoals of herring which we passed over a short while ago. This third one looks very interesting and it's probably worth going about to shoot the net. The skipper calls up his partner to tell him about the shoal he has just passed over. He can say with complete confidence that this shoal is at the right depth and is dense enough to ensure a good catch. He was right. Thanks to his MS-39, much of the doubt and delay has been removed from this type of fishing. But the use of this instrument is by no means limited to the detection of mid-water shoals. For the men who are now getting underway from our road, it's a different story. These boats are equipped for seine net fishing, usually known as Danish seine, for bottom feeding fish that are difficult to see on the echo sounder chart. Here again, the MS-39 is specially designed to help. By means of a single control, it can be switched to white line recording, a refinement pioneered by Kelvin Hughes and patented throughout the world. You can see the white line appearing now. The white line separates the fish from the bottom echoes and enables the skipper to recognize small patches and even individual fish on the seabed. These traces here are, in fact, individual fish, which, but for the white line presentation, would be lost in the bottom echo trace. Since this type of net is hauled along the bottom, the skipper wants to know whether the ground is rough or smooth before shooting, in order to avoid the risk of damaged nets. This is very easy when his boat is fitted with this special ground discrimination transducer, which is available with the MS-39 equipment. It has been developed by Kelvin Hughes and accentuates the difference between the echoes from the rough and the smooth seabed. This chart clearly shows that here we passed over smooth ground because the echoes are short, while here the ground was rough, as shown by these long tail echoes. For the skipper, such detailed information is invaluable since it will guide him to where the fish are usually found, along the edges of the smooth areas close to rougher ground. With this information, the skipper knows just where to let go the net, confident that the chances of fouling have been brought to a minimum. The fisherman's job is still a test of patience and endurance, but the risks of wasted time and damaged nets are now considerably reduced. At the end of each chart, there is a red diagonal line to remind the skipper to change it. And as you can see, it's quite a simple matter.
all the transistorized electronics are in a separate watertight compartment so that no harm can come to the equipment even in rough weather. Conditions like these can have a devastating effect on reliability. But the MS-39 has been designed to operate in such conditions. And to prove its reliability has been tested in the environmental laboratory at Kelvin Hughes. With penetrating salt spray, excessive vibration, and extremes of temperature. As we approach our broth, where Kelvin Hughes service is always on call, it's worth remembering that not only in the United Kingdom, but throughout the world, there's a network of Kelvin Hughes depots and agents who understand the fisherman's needs and give him the service he has the right to expect. Market prices cannot be fixed by the installation of fish detection equipment, but increased efficiency in finding and catching fish can be greatly enhanced when using